guys, so nice to see you. We have been looking at creation all month, how God made the world and how God made us and he wants to look after us. Even though sometimes we make a bad choice. And in today's video, Adam and Eve, the first people, made a bad choice. Let's watch it now. Stories of the Bible, Adam and Eve sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve. Hey. Who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey, Eve. Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? <laughs> no. Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh no! And they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, it was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, what have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals. But God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin. So he sent them away and closed up the garden. Adam and Eve made a bad choice by eating the fruit off the tree, which God told them not to. But God still loved them. God still loves me when I make a bad choice and God still loves you. God loves his children so much that the story didn't end there with Adam and Eve. God had a plan and one day he would make the world their perfect home again. Thank you, Lord. Let's worship. Down, down, deep down in my heart I'm talking about deep, deep Down, down, deep down in my heart Jesus, I want you Deep down in my heart Jesus, I want you Deep down in my heart I'm talking about deep, deep Down, down, deep down in my heart I'm talking about deep, deep Take it off. 
up a bit. Jesus, I love you. dive into the sea where the water's really deep you're there you're there you're always with me you hear my prayers I know that you are listening your love If I fly up to the sky Where the birds are flying high You're there You're there And if I dive into the sea Where the water's really deep You're there You're there If I fly up to the sky Where the birds are flying high You're there You're there and if I dive into the sea where the water's really deep, you're there, you're there, you're always with me, you're always with me, you're always with me, you're always with me, you're always with me. Great job everyone. Now let's do our memory verse. Now I know you all know it by that by now, so let's do it together. God made the world and everything in it. Fantastic. Well done. We have really enjoyed sharing the story of creation with you all, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Now we're going to finish with a prayer and we'll see you all next week. Bye everyone. Hi. We're the Henry family. I'm Matthew. I'm Kat. And this is Judah. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for all of your creation. Thank you for the uh, trees and plants and all the animals. Thank you that we get to look after them. And also, Lord, thank you for us. Thank you for making us. Thank you for loving us so much. And I pray that you'd help us um, love other people like you love us. And we thank you for all the children and families who are part of Trent Vineyard and pray that they would know your presence with them today. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>